हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न समथिंग रिगार्डिंग प्रोबेबल एरर फर्स्ट लेट मी गिव यू अ फॉर्मूला ऑफ फॉर्म प्रोबेबल एरर एंड हाउ टू फाइंड आउट प्रोबेबल एरर प्रोबेबल एरर कैन बी फाउंड आउट बाय 0.674 समटाइम्स इट इज आल्सो टेकन टू थर्ड इज इट ऑल but normally you should take this multiplied by 1 minus r square upon under root n is it all right now what is 1 minus r square under root n is nothing but standard error is it all right so this is standard error this is probable error you can mug up the formula and ultimately solve what is probable error mcqs uh, the uh, the answer of mcq of probable error this is not how you should learn whenever you are learning any concept you should learn it technically is it all right so when when whenever you find out any formula try to understand how it is used where it is used how this formula came always do it logically is it all right let us try to understand before learning probable error try to understand you'll have to learn what is sample is it all right so i'm taking data of bivariate variable is it all right say there is data 1 32 uh, there are n numbers of data is it all right how many data are there it is 10000 data is it all right now to find out r of this 10000 how this two variables are related you will have to list out all 10000 data find out x minus x bar y minus y bar uh, of course computer is available you can easily find out 10 10000 but if if say it is 120 crores is it all right the evaluation of data is difficult here came the idea of sample what statisticians do try to understand they don't evaluate this full data is it all right they take sample out of it now understand sample belongs to population this is also known as population in statistics language population in economics is something different but here it is overall data is termed as population is it all right? they take out sample from this data of course the sample will be less as compared to this is it all right say they evaluate only 10 data you need to verify whether the uh, sample is a uh, uh, it should not be biased it should uh, be random sample and uh, there there are rules of sampling is it all right but you have taken 10 data is it all right now can you compare x and y n where n is 10 the answer is yes is it all right and you have found out answer of r which is positive 0.80 Is it all right? Now, the question arises: Is R is a plus zero point eight zero? You have found out R of this sample. This is R of sample. It is not of population. Is it all right? See my question: Whether if had you found out R of this ten thousand data? would it be 0.80 the answer is no it would be somewhat different is it all right from the r of a sample can i find out r of population directly without evaluating this 10000 data the answer is no but with the help of this method i can find out range of r of population is it all right so i am having this r i can easily find out this r in my book also in computer it is uh, extremely easy i have found out r 0.80 with this probable error formula i can find out r of population exactly no but i can find out the range of r of population is it all right let me do it in this question is it all right how to find out this is 0.6745 into 1 minus r square upon under root what is r 0.8 under root n is 
10,000. It is 0 0.6745. into 0 0.8 square is 0 0.64 minus 1 is 0 0.36 0 0.36 divided by 100 the answer will be 0 0.6745 multiplied by 0 0.36 divided by 100 is 0 0.0024 approximately. What is this? This is probable error? Is it all right? This is a probable error. Now see the name. This is a probable error while finding out this R because you have not evaluated 10,000 data and you have evaluated only 10 data. Is it all right? So there might be error in this and how much is the probable error is uh, uh, 0 0.0024. Try to understand with this answer of probable error, I can find out this R can be 0 0.80 plus 0 0.0024 is 0 0.80 24 r can be 0 0.80 minus 0 0.0024 so 0 0.80 minus 0 0.0024 is 0 0.7976 so r will be greater than 0 0.7976 will be less than 0 0.8024 R of what? Sample? No. Sample R we are knowing 0 0.80. This will be the range of R of this population will be between this two number and hence this 0 0.0024 is known as a probable error. So this is a concept of probable error, standard error only this much, probable error fully, where it is useful if you have found out R of a sample and you want to find out a range of R of the population, it can be found out by this method add this number, subtract this number from R of the sample, you will be getting range of R of population. This is how probable error is used. This was a concept of probable error. Thank you friends. Hello friends. We are going to learn some of the points of probable error. Point number one. If R is less than probable error, Normally it is uh, uh, not possible, but suppose if R is less than probable error, say R is 0 0.1 and probable error is 0 0.2, is it all right? Then there is no evidence of correlation. There is no evidence of correlation. So if you find out R, it comes 0 0.1, normally there is no correlation, uh, 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 there is less correlation between two variables. But if you find out probable error and it comes higher than R, then understand in population there is no correlation between two variables. This is true even if R is 0 0.8, there is a significant degree of correlation between two variables, but probable error is 0 0.9. There also, then also there is no evidence of correlation. Is it all right? Number two, if R is greater than probable error, no, six times of probable error, then presence of correlation coefficient is certain. This just means that there is a correlation between two variables as far as even population is concerned. Is it all right? This is a two points. Third point is also uh, good and simple. Is it all right? As R lies between minus 1 and 1, right? This we know. 
correlation coefficient is always between minus 1 and 1. The probable error cannot be negative. Now, it is very certain. We know the formula of probable error, right? 0 0.6745 into 1 minus r square upon under root n. This is positive. This answer will always be positive. So, when probable error can be negative, when this is negative, is it right? Now, this is r square. r can be maximum 1. 1 square is 1 less than one number square, do it anything 0 0.99 multiplied by square, it is 0 0.9801. It is not greater than one. So this answer will never be greater than one. If this answer is never greater than one, this figure will never become negative. Probable error cannot be negative. It is impossible that probable error is negative. So in your examination, if you get answer probable error and you get four options whereby three are negative and one is positive, directly take mark positive answer. Is it all right? These are three points of probable error. Probable error, as I told you, should be understood logically. It is uh, helpful in giving the range of the correlation of population if you are knowing the correlation of a sample. Thank you friends.